Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. My name is Dr. Saima Mushtaq and our today's topic of infectious medicine is rubiola and rubella. The different topics which we will discuss in our today's lecture will be the rubiola first. We will talk about the uh, what is rubiola infection, what are the uh, characteristic features or what's the clinical uh, presentation of the patient with the rubiola infection. Then we will talk about the epidemiology of uh, rubiola and we will try to uh, uh, cover the statistics of rubiola in from 2010 to 2018 and how many re reported cases of rubiola are present. Then we will talk about the etiology of rubiola, what's the causative uh, agent and how the rubiola virus enters and affects the host and what are the changes that occur in the process. Then we will discuss about the pathogenesis of rubiola and how the infection occurs and uh, what are the steps from entering of the rubiola virus and then causing the effect and what are the days which are important after the infection, at what stage the uh, organs are affected and at what stage the clinical presentation is more prominent. Then we will talk about the clinical features of rubiola and then the diagnosis. What are the different tests done for the diagnosis of rubiola infection or the measles infection? Rubiola complications. Uh, rubiola uh, has very, very serious complications and all those complications, whether it is affecting the uh, uh, heart, uh, respiratory system, other organs of the body, we will talk about those complications in detail. The prevention of rubiola, how we can prevent the rubiola infection, we will talk about that also. Then the other infection which we will discuss in our today's lecture will be the rubella infection. The pathogenesis of rubella, how the virus enters the body usually by the uh, inhalation. So it enters the uh, through the respiratory tract and it affects the upper respiratory system and multiplication of the virus occur in the nasopharynx also. Then we will talk about the pathology of the rubella in detail. Uh, presentation, how the patient with rubella infection uh, present, what are the clinical features of rubella infection, uh, the diagnosis of rubella, both acquired and congenital rubella. We will discuss in detail their presentation and then how we diagnose both two different rubella infections. Then we will discuss the treatment of rubella infection. We have other uh, lectures available on the websites of uh, infectious medicine. You can access the website of scardia.com to access those lectures on the infectious medicine. Thanks for watching scardia.com.